ordinary horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. This is a story of one of the most mysterious characters to appear in the early days of the West. He was a fabulous individual, a man whose presence brought fear to the lawless and hope to those who wanted to make this frontier land their home. He was known as the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger and Tonto are riding to answer an urgent plea for help. And their friend, the Sheriff of Cactus County, Jim Hawks. But as Jim waits for the masked man and his Indian companion, there is another, a killer, who lies in wait for Jim. See any sign of Jim, Tonto? There came a sappy. Me see him. Tonto, look! Ranger, Tonto. Got your letter, Jim. Looks like we got here just in time. How is he? Just a shoulder wound, and he's knocked out. This hombre's gonna spend a nice long time in jail. Any idea who he is? Looks like one of the Dirk Nelson gang. They've been out to get me ever since I was appointed sheriff. Dirk Nelson? Yes, I know about him. More than you can handle, Jim. That's why I asked your help. Nelson stopped at nothing. Hold-ups, murders. And now I have an extra special reason for wanting to get him. You mean not understand? A few days ago, he ran off with Nancy Barton, the girl I was engaged to. They're gonna be married in a week. Nancy Barton? You wrote me she hated Nelson and everything he stands for. Well, that's what's got me buffaloed. All of a sudden, she leaves me a note that she's gonna marry him and I'm not to try to stop her. That not makes sense. You're right, Tonto. People don't change their minds overnight unless they're forced to. Did her father have any idea what's behind this? None at all. Yet he should know, Jim. You better lock him up. Tonto will stand guard while you and I pay a little call on Mr. Barton. friend of Jim's is always welcome here. Right this way. May I uh, offer you gentlemen a drink? No, thanks. I never touch spirits. Well, that's admirable. Very admirable indeed. But this is purely medicinal, of course. A man drinks that kind of medicine to forget something he doesn't want to remember. I, I don't understand. I have nothing to forget. And perhaps you have something to remember. Why did your daughter run off with Dirk Nelson? Well, a woman's privileged to change her mind, I guess. Besides, she knew Dirk when I was working in Centerville. What kind of work, Mr. Barton? Uh, a bank. I was a teller. A Centerville bank? That was one of Dirk Nelson's biggest hauls. Everyone said it was an inside job. What... What are you implying, sir? Nothing, Mr. Barton. Just that I know someone inside that bank helped Dirk Nelson pull off that job and got paid very well for doing it. If Nelson threatened to expose that someone, it could be mighty unpleasant for him. Mr. Barton, is that why Nancy ran off with Nelson? You've got to tell me. Well, all right. All right. Jim, I've been miserable ever since I helped Dirk steal that money. But I've been saving up ever since to pay it back. That doesn't help your daughter. What about her, Mr. Barton? Well, she didn't know anything about it until Dirk came the other night. He's always had his eye on her. And he was jealous of you, Jim. He promised her that I'd spend the rest of my life in jail if she didn't go off with him. You scare easily, Mr. Barton. Don't you know that Dirk couldn't expose you without admitting his own guilt? But everybody already knows Dirk's guilty. There were witnesses. But there's no proof against me un unless Dirk talks. That's why Nancy insisted on doing everything he asked. I begged her not to, but... I couldn't stop her. 
Well, why didn't you come to me right away? Oh, it, it was too late then, and I... I was afraid. But I'm glad you're here now, Jim. I've hated myself every waking moment. And I'll do everything I can to keep her from marrying him. Will you turn state's evidence? Will you go to prison? Gladly. And somehow I'll reach your daughter and stop her from marrying him. Well, how can you? With her at the Nelson hideout and nobody knowing where it is. There's one way to get into the hideout, Jim. How's that? Join the Nelson gang. Join the Nelson gang? Why, they don't take anybody but the most hardened criminals. And everybody knows you stand for law and order. True. But nobody in this county has ever seen the Lone Ranger. Supposing we were to change his name for a while. Call him the Masked Rider. The Masked Rider? Well, what good would that do? A lot of good, Jim. If the Masked Rider could even build up a worse reputation than Dirk Nelson, a few posters like this with a different face and a different name. reading about this masked rider. Who is he anyway? I don't know who he is, Dirk, but the sheriff seems a lot more anxious to catch him than to catch you. Can't say that I blame him, boss. Every holdup we've tried to pull off lately, he's been there ahead of us. I sure wish he was working with us instead of against us. If you're so anxious to have him join the gang, why don't you find him and bring him in? The fool could do twice as well taking orders from me. Stagecoach coming, boss. Good. Right on schedule. This is one time the masked rider's not going to beat us to the job. Take cover. He bet Dick Nelson would be plenty mad at Masked Rider now. He'd not like to be outsmarted. Yes, I was afraid he might let this old shipment go through. Oh, I knew he couldn't resist it. I've had my deputies blabbing about it for days. Sure wish I could get down there and get Nelson right now. All right, you throw down that gold and be quick about it. Sure, sure, mister. Don't shoot. Where's the gold? Mister, you'll have to ask the masked rider. He held me up about two miles back. Masked rider? He done it again. You hadn't wasted so much time lollygagging around that Barton female, the masked rider wouldn't be giving us his trouble now. That'll be enough out of you, Sid. Come on, let's get back to the hideout. I'm gonna outsmart that hombre if it's the last thing I do. Outlaws plenty mad they not find gold. By the way, Jim, what did you do with the gold I was supposed to have stolen? I fixed it with old Luke, the driver. He sent it on ahead by special messenger. What we do now, King Masabi? I think it's time for the masked rider to join the Nelson gang. After what happened today, they should welcome him with open arms. I'll leave a trail for you to follow, Tonto. Contact me as often as possible. Time, big fellow. I'm sick of standing guard. The way things have been going around here, there's nothing left you to guard anymore. Put up your hands. I said reach. Say, what is this, anyway? Uh, hold up, mister. Give me your money. Uh, money? Mister, do you know who we are? I don't care who we are. Just hand over your cash. I reckon it's Andre don't want to live too long, Sid. There's a lot more than two of us around here, mister. Didn't you ever hear the Dirk Nelson gang? Dirk Nelson. Why didn't you say so? I've been looking for him ever since I hit this territory. Say, who are you anyhow? Uh, you ought to know. I'm the one man the sheriff wants more than Nelson. Sid, this here hombre's the masked rider. That's right. And if you're smart, you'll take me to Nelson. What for? You're doing all right on your own, ain't you? Sure I am. But with the Nelson gang riding with me, I could do twice as well. That's right, Sid. With him on our side, we could tie the whole territory in knots. Not so fast, Wes. We can't take him into the hideout with us. We don't know nothing about him. Didn't Dirk say to bring him in and we could ever find him? Come on, mister, I'll take you to him. I still say you're crazy, Wes. How do we know we can trust him? How does he know he can trust us? Uh, all right. But remember one thing. Once you go into the hideout with us, you're one of us. Any fancy tricks and you don't come out alive. Come on, let's go. Fine, big fellow.
Please, you hurry. Dirk Nelson does not like to be kept waiting. I'm not afraid of Dirk Nelson, Mrs. Gonzalez, and you shouldn't be either. Why do you let him use your ranch as a hideout? Why do you let him make you marry him? We both are afraid, Miss Barton. I guess you're right. Yes? You sent for me? Yeah. All right, Mrs. Gonzalez, get out of here. I've got good news for you, Nancy. I'm fixing for us to get married Saturday, two days ahead of schedule. How does that sound? I gave my promise. I don't see what you females see in sheriffs anyway. They don't make hardly any money. Jim Hawks is honest, which is something you wouldn't understand. Oh, now, wait a minute, Nancy. I'm not such a bad guy. You just got to give me a chance. You can force me to marry you, Dirk, but I'll go right on hating you. Hey, Dirk. What up? Someone here to see you. Who's that with you? It's a masked rider. What's the idea of bringing him here? Good, your idea, Dirk. Wouldn't you rather have him with us than against us? Only if I'm sure that he is who he says he is. That could work both ways, mister. How do I know you're not somebody else? You talk mighty big. Look for two cents up. You're what? Jumping polecats, he out draw Dirk. You see that? You're mighty fast with those guns. In my profession, I have to be. Don't you see, Dirk, with him and the gang, nobody else would have a chance. You'd be top dog in the territory. I am already. But I can always use a good man. Yeah. Bring him inside and I'll talk to him. You take big chances, mister. Now that you're here, what makes you think I won't have you killed? For two reasons, Nelson. You'd lose some of your own men first, and you're smart enough to know I'm more useful to you alive than dead. So you want to join my gang? Yeah. Why should we compete against each other? Together, we could take over this territory. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Very good sense. But nobody joins my gang unless I see his face first. Supposing you take off that mask. Sorry, Nelson. I've got good reasons to keep this mask on. They wouldn't be because you're not really the mask rider, would they? What do you mean, Dirk? How do we know he's not on the side of the law? Any man can cover his face and claim to be the masked rider. Do you think I'd be fool enough to let your men bring me here if I wasn't? I know I couldn't get out of here alive. Sure, you gotta believe him now, Dirk. You saw how quick he pulled his guns. Lots of men are fast on the draw. But being a good shot is something else again. And I've heard that the masked rider is just about the best shot in the world. Are you that good, mister? Why don't you find out? I aim to. Come on outside, all of you. Miss Barton, I come from Jim Hawks. Jim Hawks? Well, who are you? A friend. I must talk to you later, alone. There you are, mister. If you can hit any of those cups at this distance, I'll believe you're really the masked rider. What if I break all four? All four? <laughs> Nobody's that good. What's the matter, getting cold feet? You want me to move back further? No. No, this will be all right. I never saw shooting like that before. You gotta believe him now, boss. What do you say? I say he's every bit as good as I've heard he is. And you let him join up with us? Sure. I'd be a fool not to. But there's one other little thing first. Yeah? What's that? You haven't proved yet that you're really with us. So tomorrow we're gonna pull a little job. And I'm gonna let you lead my men. Whatever you say, Nelson. I've got it all worked out, men. The gang will hold up the stage tomorrow morning just inside Eagle Pass. You mean you're really gonna let them lead the gang, boss? I sure am. You'll be riding right at the head of it. Well, what about you? I'll be in the stagecoach with the other passengers. Say, that's your smart, boss. Then you'll have to drop on them from the rear when we surprise them in Eagle Pass. It's not them I'll have to drop on. It's the masked rider. Here, you fill this up again. You gonna kill them, Dirk? As dead as they come. What fur? We need them. Like we need poison ivy. You fooled, you've been tricked. He's no outlaw. I was suspicious of him the minute I saw his gun belt. That's why I had him fire at those cops. I don't get you. 
After he finished, I dug this out of the tree. Ever see one like that before? Just a bullet. What about it? That particular bullet's made of silver. Silver? Who'd ever use a silver bullet? Only one man in all the West. The Lone Ranger. Kimasabi. I'm glad you've come, Tano. Nelson's planning a holdup tomorrow, and I'm to lead it. Lone Ranger lead holdup? Not possible. I'll have to pretend to until I find out what he's going to do. I think he's setting a trap for me, or he'll lead his men himself. Someone come. Oh, Miss Barton. I saw you from the house. Who's the Indian? Mrs. Tano, you always worked with me. Why did you follow me? Mrs. Gonzalez heard Dirk talking. You're to hold up the stagecoach at Eagle Pass tomorrow morning. Dirk will be riding in the coach. He plans to shoot you. So that's it. Thanks for the warning. This girl Jim want for wife? Yes, Tonto. What are you talking about? I'm marrying Dirk Nelson. You won't have to, Miss Barton. Your father told us the truth. The truth? Does that mean he'll go to prison? He promised to return the money he stole and give evidence against Nelson. We hope the jury will be lenient. I guess I was stupid to do what I did, but Dad's not really a criminal, and I had to protect him somehow. Two wrongs don't make a right, Miss Barton. Did you think your father would be happy knowing you were married to an outlaw? It's your happiness he wants. Then I can go back to Jim? No, you can't. What do you mean? If we're going to outwit Dirk Nelson, it's important that he doesn't know his plans are changed. You're a part of those plans. I understand. I won't leave. What we do? Tano, tell Jim Hawks and his men to be at Eagle Pass tomorrow morning. But you, Kimasabi, you ride into Trap Nelson's set for you? Yes, Tano. I'll ride right into it. And you'll be there to watch. I wish the Lone Ranger's Indian friend would get back. Do you think anything could have happened to him? Tano can take care of himself, Mr. Barton. If it's possible to contact the Ranger, he'll do it. Well, I hope it's not too late. Nancy and that outlaw's hideout all this time. I'm going to try and find him myself. We won't help any by losing our heads. The Ranger's risking his life to save your daughter. And the least we can do is stay here and wait for instructions. I'm sorry, Jim. I'm sorry. You're right. I ought to be grateful. You'll get your chance to help when you testify against Nelson. And that won't be easy, you know, implicating yourself. Jim, it'll be the easiest job I've ever had to do. I don't mind paying for my own mistakes as long as I know it puts Dirk behind bars. Tonto. How, Jim? Uh, have you seen the Lone Ranger? Is Nancy all right? Your daughter, fine, Mr. Barton. Well, if you reached the hideout, how is it you didn't bring Nancy back with you? Kimasabi not let me. Wouldn't let you? Why not? No time explained now. You come. Round up posse quick. Have them at Eagle Pass tomorrow morning for sure. What about you? Aren't you riding with us? No. Tonto has a special job to do. Kimasabi's life at stake. Come. Good night, Mr. Barton. Good luck, Jim. Are you ready? Dirk's counting on you to do just like he says. I'm ready. Where is Dirk? Don't you worry about him. He'll be around here when we need him. I'm sure he will. Say, if you're looking for Dirk over there, you ain't gonna see him. I'm not looking for Dirk. Ready, men? As soon as we get the signal from the Lone Ranger, we take off and capture him red-handed.
Tonto, what happened? Uh, Nelson, he hit me. But me all right now. Jim! Nancy. I was so afraid something would go wrong. Jim and his men captured the whole gang, Miss Barton. Them in jail for a long time to come. Dirk Nelson, too. We're not needed here anymore, Tonto. Jim, I was such a fool to run off with Dirk. Well, if you hadn't, Nancy, the Nelson gang wouldn't be in jail now. Because I'd never have called for the one man who could help me capture them. The Lone Ranger. Hello, Silver! 